In this world we live and work in, Wi-Fi is always changing and advancing. Improvements in speed, security, range, filtering and more. We know that you have customers that are at each end of the spectrum. One location wants to get by with the wireless router they've had for years, or the one they rent from the cable company, while another location has the best latest and greatest on the market. As we bring our equipment into their home or business, how do we know it will work with the equipment they have? The answer is found in knowing what features will cause issues with our products, not necessarily the equipment itself. There are a few things that can cause issues with our Wi-Fi products connecting and operating properly. The first is frequency or band. All of our Wi-Fi devices will operate on 2.4 GHz. While some are capable of 5 GHz, it doesn't give us the range we need. Some routers will look at a device and want to direct it to the 5 GHz band, even though it is not so equipped. This is called band steering, and may need to be disabled for some routers. Another feature is called multicast. Multicast is usually disabled on commercial networks, however, it is a feature that is used by our devices and should be left enabled. Security is important for every Wi-Fi network. We recommend and support the WPA2 and WPA2 PSK security scheme. With the newest routers they are being certified with WPA3 security. The Wi-Fi Alliance knows that this scheme is currently not compatible with a lot of existing wireless devices, therefore, you may need to choose another setting until wireless chipsets catch up. Another option that needs to be disabled in networks for all of our devices to work together is called, Device Isolation. With this feature enabled, the devices on the network will not be able to communicate directly to each other, such as Pro Series and its Wi-Fi touchscreen keypads. The one thing to remember about Wi-Fi routers is that it's usually a feature or setting that will prevent something from working, as opposed to the router itself being incompatible.